No, you're old when you're breathing this hard from running up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, weather delay you guys a little this morning? Yeah, it was unfortunate. You know, I'd say we were lethargic at best. You know, it's I've been a part of those games before. You know, the kids get here basically 5 a.m. to get taped at 5:30, and meetings start at six, and then. Then you get lightning delayed and lightning delayed and in and out. But this, the, the culture pillar of the week is trust the process, which means control the controllables, and we can't control the weather, can't control the officials, can't control the opponent, right? So it was a great teaching opportunity for my kids, and, uh, but we've got to be better tomorrow. We were great yesterday. A distracted, lethargic. Now, I've been wrong before. I told them we'd study the Titan data. We'd study the video. I, I might be wrong. Maybe I'm just in a bad mood because my indoor is not built yet, and I was – Frustrated because I didn't have a place to practice. Maybe it's, maybe it's all me. It might just be grappy old man syndrome. I don't know. <laughs> Jeff, what is uh, what are the kind of things you know he does good? Like, well, what do you guys have to worry about? Well, they're they're on defense. They're athletic, and they do some things up front that give you a lot of trouble, especially when you've got an offensive line that you're jigsawing around all the time. That's got me a little concerned. Uh, they've got the leading rusher in the country, uh, you know, for all time yards. Um, I think Sincere is six, and this kid is first. That's pretty cool. You don't see that in the game very often. I think that's kind of been overlooked. I think the quarterback's a really good athlete. Uh, I mean, he can really pull it down and run. They're athletic. Uh, their receivers are athletic. I think the coach is really good. I mean, I think he's uh, come in and done a good job. His kids continue to fight. And um, so that, those are some things that have me concerned <laughs> on the jump street. Jeff Kalechi, you know, came up with the big play in the fourth quarter there to force that fumble. What did it mean to you to see that a guy who maybe doesn't play a ton of snaps was able to make a play like that in that situation? Well, we, we think the role of Kalechi. I mean, he just spoke to our team about trust the process. Him and Brendan Brady both just spoke to our team, did a better job than any head coach could ever do. Um, yeah, that's just Kalechi. He's a star on our special teams. He's always, always, he's always out there. Uh, so it did not surprise me at all. That's just who he is. He's very intelligent, has a lot of character, shows up every day. He's a pro. He's a man's man. That did not surprise me at all. He and Cliff were playing in place of Rashad and Antonio Parks on those two drives early in the fourth quarter there. Is that just like a normal rotation for you guys, or what led to that? Yeah, we just we let them all play. You know, we've got different packages and different things we do for each kid. And just a way to get them all in the game. They deserve to play. They're, they're good players. and Helps recruiting, helps the locker room, helps longevity, helps morale. There's a lot of reasons to do all that kind of stuff. Yeah, does that keep the guys kind of more locked in and focused when they know that even in the fourth quarter of a tight game, you know, anybody who's not number one on the depth chart could also be put out there and given a chance to shine? Oh, yeah. And, you know, you and JJ, y'all compete against each other. You know, if you didn't have each other competing against, you might get a little lackadaisical, but you got to outdo each other, right? I know y'all are partners sometimes with y'all's little cute videos, but I mean, <laughs> you know, y'all are competing, you know, at other times, right? That, that makes us all better. Uh, that's what America's about, and it really is. It's what America, it's what America is supposed to be about. Uh, and is that dream of all of us competing and, and, and winning. And uh, yeah, that's exactly right, Greg. Jeff, you're handing out some uh, breakfast to the students today. Just uh, what, what do you hope to see out there? You know, I just, you know, I, I've had college students, you know, I've had three of them. And uh, they were all on full scholarship. They were on their dad's scholarship. Uh, so uh, <laughs> I just know what that means. You know, I remember when I was in college, you know, I was a walk on, you give me a taquito, man. It was like I made $25 that day. And I just hope they see we're humans and we appreciate them. They packed that thing twice already. And, you know, we played really good the first time they saw us play and we kind of struggled the second game offensively. And I know they want to see points and better execution. So maybe the taquitos will, will make up for it. Jeff, there was a report that surfaced yesterday that in February you had an extra year added to your contract. Can you explain kind of how or why that came to be? Um, but, no, not really. Uh, they just asked me if I'd want an extension, and I said, sounds great to me. And I uh, called my agent, and they talked, and I, I didn't have anything to do with it. I just let my agent and Dr. Compost take care of it, and, you know, that's, that's what happened. All right, thanks, Coach. Appreciate y'all.